Day three of the 2021 Realtors Conference and Expo was about finishing strong and rising through adversity, focusing on sharing tales from those who gained strength and resilience through overcoming obstacles. The energy was high for one of the day's highlights, a fireside chat with Simone Biles, one of the greatest gymnasts of all times. The biggest thing that I learned about myself this year is I'm more than the work that I do and I'm more than gold medals. So if you guys take anything away from this conversation, you're more than your work. Um, so go out there and the world is your oyster. Simone uses her platform to advocate for change a sentiment that resonated with attendees. NAR has a great way of ending all of their conferences on a very high note, and Simone Biles was an amazing, inspirational person. It's gonna make me get out, work harder, and just stay motivated to making sure that my dreams and goals come become reality. Sometimes, even after the most unspeakable tragedy, valuable lessons can be learned. In his presentation, Carl Carter Jr. shared safety tips developed since the devastating passing of his mother, Beverly Carter, whose death sparked a national conversation about safety in real estate. After a decade in the business, my mom was a beautiful, successful agent, had undoubtedly, I've never quantified it, but the opportunity to serve hundreds of clients. And throughout those transactions, undoubtedly, showed I, who knows how many houses in the thousands yet all it took was one following up on this important topic subject matter expert Tracy Hawkins delivered an interactive session where agents craft a realistic safety policy solution based on a story number one thing I say without hesitation and I said in every safety program is we have a built-in survival mechanism that's hardly ever wrong listen to it Although not all of us face tragic circumstances, we all know what it's like to feel stretched thin and exhausted. In her session, Holly Mayberry shared the secrets to success in a stressful market. If you eat your frog first thing in the morning, it's small. If you will wait until late in the day, you're eating an elephant. One of the obstacles real estate professionals face today is locating new listings in low inventory markets. Bernice Ross delivered a session sharing 15 strategies to create opportunities. That's something that you can talk to a buyer about when you go to see them and they're going to be, I'm going to work with you because you told me something that no, and even I don't qualify, you told me something that I didn't know. So what you're doing is you're building that relationship right there at the beginning and an algorithm cannot take that away from you. On the last day of the Expo Hall, attendees had the opportunity to meet the NAR leadership team. Everyone's been so excited and the opportunities to network and just be able to have the conversations in person with people again has really been um, amazing. And new this year is the Realtors Town Square, a hub of networking, recharging and fun located right in the middle of the Expo Hall. If you want to grow your global business, this is a step, this is the place to be. Actually get together, take pictures, network. I mean, I enjoy that part of coming. Extremely uh, gratifying to be here and connect with all our beautiful realtor family. Plus, one lucky attendee is shining extra bright after having won the vacation of a lifetime, courtesy of HomeSnap. With exclusive educational content, inspirational discussions, and the opportunity to finally reunite with friends, the 2021 Realtors Conference and Expo was truly a rise and shine event. We'll see you next year in Orlando, Florida.